Good morning, children. Welcome back to our Google Classroom. It is this period, mathematics. How many chapters we have completed? Two chapters. Is it? This is our third chapter. In the third chapter, we will discuss multiplication, division, average and unitary methods. Multiplication and division, you know very well. Is it? What is multiplication? Multiplication is the repeated addition. Is it? Multiplication is the repeated addition. So, you know that how we will multiply the number with a one digit number. It is very easy for you. Is it? Moreover, the division also you have learned. That means division of a number with by a one digit number. That is also you have learnt. In multiplication, we used the terms multiplicand, multiplier, product, etc. But in the higher classes, the numbers which we are multiplied are called factors. What is the term? Factors. So, the numbers that are multiplied together are called factors. For example, 4 into 5 equal to 20. Is it? Which numbers we multiply together there? Which are the numbers? 4 and 5. And the answer is 20. So, 4 and 5 are known as factors. 20 is called product. We can take another example. 2 into 3 equal to 6. 2 into 3 equal to 6. Which are the factors? 2 and 3. 6 is the product. You understood the terms? Factors and product. Factors are the numbers we multiplied. Product is the answer after multiplication. Okay. So, Division also you have learnt. Which are the terms we used in the case of division? Dividend, divisor, quotient and remainder. Is it? Which are the terms? Dividend, divisor, quotient and remainder. Also, there is a relation between these four terms. What is it? You know? What is the relation between these four terms? That means dividend equal to quotient into divisor plus remainder. What is the relation? Dividend equal to quotient into divisor plus remainder. These are the main points we discuss in this class. So, some only two page problems I am attaching here that you have learned already. That means the multiplication of a number with one digit number and one division of a number with one digit number. Division of a number by a one digit number. Okay. So, you go through the notes and two problems you do in your rough book. We can meet in the next class. Thank you children. One example we can do here. That means 5678 into 6. Which number we will multiply at first? The unit digit 8 into 6. 8 into 6? 48. Is it? 8, 6 are 48. We will write 8 here, 4 balance here. Next digit. 7, 7 into 6, 42, plus 4, 46, 46, in which 6 here, 4 balance we wrote here. Next, 6 into 6, 36, plus 4, 40, 0, 4, 40 we wrote here. Next, 5 into 6, 30, plus 4, 34. You know this process, so you can do like this. So, we got the answer. This is the product. 34,068. Is it? 
This is the product. These two numbers are the factors. Okay. One more example we can do here. 176 into 5. First we will multiply unit digit 6. 6 into 5, 30. 30 means 30, 3, 0. 0 is the unit digit. 0, here 3, balance. Then 7 into 5, 35 plus 3, 38. 38, 38, 8 here, 3 here. Then 1, 5 is 5 plus 3, 8. This is the way we used to multiply the numbers. You know it very well. So, we can do one division here. Question is 2507 division 5. So, which one is the dividend? This one is the dividend and this one is the divisor. So, we will write in this way 2507 divided by 5. Next, first digit we will take. What is the first digit? 2. Then we will check 5 out of 2 is possible. 5 out of 2 is possible? No. 5 is greater than 2. So we can't take 5 from 2. So we will seek next digit. What is the next digit? 5. Then this number became 25. 5 out of 25. How many times? Table. We will Check the table and we will get 5, 5 are 25. 25 we wrote here. Then what we do? 5 we written here and we will subtract. 25 minus 25, 0. Next 0 we will put here. Then we will check 5 out of 0 is possible? No. So we will write here 0. Then next digit we write down. Then the number will become 7. 5 out of 7, 1 time. 1, 5, 5, 2, 5 are 10. That is greater than 7. So it can be take 2 times 5 from 7. So we will write 1, 1, 5, 5 and we will subtract. We get 2. Then no more digits are to be left there. So we have division over. That means we got the quotient 501 and the remainder 2. We will write separately quotient Q equal to 501. Remainder. What is the letter? R is equal to 2. So we can see one relation. What is the relation first I spoke? Dividend equal to quotient into divisor plus remainder. So, I will write the relation dividend equal to quotient into divisor plus remainder. So, you do the problems children and study the relation. Okay, copy the notes. This is a simple topic. So, you Go through the notes. Thank you children.